Hey guys, I'm LB, and today, you're going to solve Dumbwaiter, and, uh... Time- Time Flies, yes. Cause these are the ones that we broke mercilessly. We also broke this one as well. Um, up close and jammed. We broke this one as well, but then we figured out what the actual solution was a few episodes ago, so... I'm not gonna be showing that one in this video. Dumbwaiter. I watched some of a video walkthrough to try and understand this one. Now, the way we broke this one was I got some boxes out of bounds using, uh, Time Flies, and also some of the boxes in here, and then we just stacked the boxes up here, and we jumped over this wall. It's like, if we, if we stand on this rock, you can see that that right there is just where the sigil is. And so we jumped over there and jumped into here, and it didn't even detect us as being in the puzzle. And we got the sigil. So we're gonna solve this the intended way now. Step one. As usual, we gotta get these boxes out. We put this box on here. This one on here. And then... we... use this guy... to do that. And I think this is the part that I didn't understand before. You can- we can take the box and get it out here, right? And, uh, I don't think I ever figured out that I could do that before. Can we jump anywhere from here, by the way? I'm always in the mood for breaking things, you know. Oh! <laughs> Okay, I thought the box went through the wall that way. That, uh, that scared me. Hey, we can do this. So then... Hmm, not quite what I wanted, but that's a start, right? So if we stand... oops, come on. <laughs> right now I'm not even trying to solve the puzzle, I'm just trying to break it again. Because I can't help myself, I like breaking puzzles. Pushes us backwards. Okay. So, if we put it on this side instead... Now we can jump here. And here! Yes! We are up here, and look at this! We're not supposed to be up here. <laughs> exactly what I wanted to do. And... we may... Yes, we could potentially have gotten the star here this way! <laughs> Oh wow, this- this game has so many ways to break it, it's unbelievable. What's in there? Just nothing, I guess? I think we could also jump with some careful jumps over to there, but anyway. So, I paused the walkthrough when they put the box here. I'm not really sure... ...what the point of putting the box here is, if there is one. But we're gonna try and figure it out. Because we eventually want the box to land here. Why would they put the box there? Shouldn't it put- put there? I'm gonna put it there. Because that's where I believe it should go. I have that belief in my heart that it should go there. So this should allow us to get the angle to get that laser with this guy. So if we do this and... that... Hey! Okay, that was a lot easier than I thought. Because I got really stuck on this puzzle, and I think the thing I was missing was being able to stand up here and grab the box and put it up there somewhere. Yeah, that was a really simple solution. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this one, I think I know what to do, even without using a walkthrough, so... Let me close the phone book, because I do not need the walkthrough for Dumbwaiter anymore. And let's see, we got... the thing on the box. Yes, we did that at one point. We're gonna do it again. So 
So we leave it connected. And I think my main issue with this puzzle was that whenever I would, uh, whenever I would go up here, and I would try and look, see, I, th I always thought this tree would block the laser, but as we found out, the tree does not block the laser. The laser just goes through the tree. And, uh, had I known that, I probably would not have gotten stuck on this puzzle. But, this puzzle is the one where it broke the game many times, because you can easily get out of, out of bounds here. Just go back to my episodes, Game Broken, or whatever. I have, I have a couple episodes where I've broken the puzzles in this area. And, uh, let's see, what we want to do... I'm trying to remember what it was did. So we put that there, right? No, 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 because we want... We want the real one... to be... on the box. So this is the one that our clone has to use. So if we record ourselves, um, doing this, basically, that's not gonna work. So... That's not quite what I wanted to do. I gotta go over there again. We want this to be... We want it to be connected over here. So that when we right-click to pick it up, it will keep that connection. And then we just put it here, right? So then we record our clone, just standing here, and, uh, I think standing here is all the clone needs to do, really. And then... We do... this. Like that. And then, we can shut that off. Yes! Okay. So then, all we need to do is get the clone to stand on that button for us. Because the exit is open now, so... We'll do this. And that's all we really need. Yes, yeah, so that is how we do this properly. Solved! Solved! We did it the right way. Yes, indeed. And so... Then, to get the star, we just walk along the wall here. And the star is in here, you get it, climb back out with the ladder, blah blah blah. And then use that in the other puzzle to get the other star. You go, you, you get the laser from there, you go into here, and, uh, you put it on top of the, the thing over there and point it at the, the laser receptor over there. And that's how you get the star in Dumbwaiter. So that is it. I believe that is all the ones that we cheated on. I'm trying to recall any others. Hmm. You know, I do actually want to see the, uh, the, the Wheatley Easter egg for myself. I know I said I wasn't going to show it, but I've changed my mind now. And then also... I was watching Shakira play, uh, play the Talos Principle, and she found a really easy way to get out of bounds in Moral Day. I thought it was hilarious. So I guess we'll show that too if we still have time. But for those of you who don't know who Shakira is, she has, like, 500-something subscribers right now. And, uh, yeah, very small channel, so I don't expect you to know who she is. But she's played stuff like, um, The Talos Principle, Alien Isolation, she's- she plays a lot of Minecraft stuff, and she's also played... 
Nightcry, Nightcry. That's right, that's the one that was watching her play. At least I think it's her, right? Am I subscribed to do to two different channels that are very similar like that? I don't remember. Okay. So, let's go to B, and we're going to look at the Wheatley Easter Egg, I believe. I believe it's in... Which one is it in? It's the one... with... the moon. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Why did I think it was that one? <laughs> was it... This one? Yes, this one. So if you look at the moon, you can see something, maybe... I can see it's kind of orangey, blackyish, whatever. And, uh, there's actually a way you can. you're supposed to be able to find out about it. Let's go into here. And we just want to get over here. And you see how we hit that column there for a moment? That's, uh, that's important. But over here, there's a little key. I don't remember if we found this, but, uh, we might have found it. I don't remember, to be honest. But what you gotta do, is you see, uh... Oh, that's right, we can stop on ladders, I forgot. There is a... Where is it? There it is, you can see it behind the tree there. It's like a viewfinder thingy. Let's see, so we, we go here... Yes, here we go. I did that on my first try, wow. <laughs> and, uh... So you go over here, right? You go up to this viewfinder thing, and you needed the key for that. Okay, let's see... Where is... the moon? Here we go. Yeah, you can see it now. That's, uh, that's what we're supposed to be hitting. And once you hit that with a laser... I can't remember if the color matters, but I think there's only one color we can easily use. So, also, you can explore out of bounds if you want. And there's a ladder to get back in somewhere, but I'm not gonna show exactly where. Until I've finished exploring out of bounds, that is. I just want to look around for a bit, see how far I can go. Man, there's a lot of area you can explore around here. That's neat. In the beginning were the words and the words made. In the beginning were the words and the words made. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So once we get back in bounds here, I will show how to... The beginning of yeah, so the ladder's over here. We go back in bounds. And then we gotta head to this other puzzle over here, the one with the laser in it. do is point it at... right there. I don't know what these little things going along the laser are for. It's like little dashes. I've never seen that anywhere else in the game. But if you look at this, the moon is only half a moon, it's not actually a whole moon. Can you 
see a little orb thing up there. I wonder what that is. Above the Aperture Science logo is a little tiny orb. I missed that. I did it on my first try. <laughs> oh man, that almost worked. There we go. Now I've got it. Oh, are you serious? I fell? Come on. I gotta get to the viewfinder again to show this off. No music, don't fade out. There we go, I'm on this part, and then we go here, and viewfinder. Look at that! It's Wheatley! So yeah, that's the- that's the Wheatley secret. Okay, let's uh, let's get out of here. I think the easiest way to get out is to just go out of bounds. And, uh, run us into this thing. Whee! So. That's that. There's more easter eggs in this game, but... I'm- I'm not really gonna try and find all of them. You can go on YouTube, just find a full list of all the easter eggs. Pretty cool game. But I do want to check that out-of-bounds area that Shakira found. Try two first. It's in one of these, I think. No, not not Hall of Windows. Not suicide mission. One with a turret, I believe. Guards must be- no. Are there only three puzzles here? So it's not in two. Probably three then. Talking about it in uh, that area. An escalating problem. No. She and I both have trouble with an escalating problem. I think... Yeah, it was this one. So if you go right here, you stand on this little thing here, you can jump up on this. Look at that! That- that's amazing. So, if you do it just right, you can actually get all the way up there, and she did it on her first try. Come on. How did she do it? Come on. Come on. She actually got stuck when she did it as well, because she fell down. Come on. <laughs> 
<laughs> clicky, clicky, clicky. Oh, 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 I almost had it there. Ah, oh, so close. It just slid off the edge. Here we go. And we're on the walls. Walk up on this. Ooh, not quite. Yeah, this is the ladder. And then, yeah, this is out of bounds, right here. Out of bounds. We could even take a jammer with us if we wanted. Interesting stuff. In the beginning were the words and in the beginning. Anyway. I think that's it for this episode. I think after this, we will be working on user-made levels and a DLC. So as always, thank you for watching. If you hate the sound of my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you. And I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye! And the words made. I am the word. In the beginning were the words, and the words made the world. I am the words. The words are everything.